Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing what I buy it. I think this is 18, I'm pretty sure. This series here was created by Samantha March here on YouTube. I will be linking her channel down below as well as a link to Trend Mood's Instagram account where I get all my photos from. Let's go. The first thing that I see here is a collaboration between Morphe and Madison Beer. I believe she is from the UK, if I remember correctly. And it's a marketing technique that Morphe is very familiar with. There are no pictures here. It's just kind of like a coming soon. But I wanted to put it in here because it's yet another collaboration. It seems like a lot of the holiday collections are coming out and uh, we have the one from Fenty Beauty. It's going to be a Stunna Lip Duo with two new shades, one in Underrated and another in Unmatched. And it's a red. I guess it's going to be different from the one that they already have, which I tried and then a pink shade. And I wanted to mention it because it is easily one of the best liquid lipstick formulas I've ever tried. It is so comfortable. I was surprised, but in a good way. So if you're on a hunt for a liquid lipstick that's comfortable, this might be a good time to try it out because you get two shades. It's a holiday special and those are usually a lot cheaper. They're also gonna be coming out with this year's Glossy Posse and it's gonna be four new mini shades in Ruby Milk, Cake Shake, Taffy Teas, and a baby brut brut and I honestly think that this selection of colors is just it's it's really good you get like a light milky peach a pink a berry and then this very like goldeny brown shade I find that the gloss bombs are fairly sheer so you won't get a lot of intensity so if you're one to like just top your lipsticks with a lip gloss, then these might be a great option for you to check out. Available on September 14th. Natasha Denona with the Glam Eyeshadow Palette. I have seen some people do reviews of this already and I will say that this is another great palette. This is more like neutral cool than my personal liking but it's still a palette that when I look at it I am attracted to it. I really liked the bronze one that they came out with for the summer and this I feel is another great hit as we transition into fall and then we get into like the Christmas and New Year season this will be like it'll be perfect to get those looks together so even though I won't be getting it I think it was another hit for them holiday release from Hourglass these go like hot cakes every holiday season and um, they will be available on the website on September 9th so there are two I believe face palettes and a couple lip products but based on just like the photos of the palettes, which I think will be the hit for the season as it normally is during the holidays. These palettes look absolutely stunning. I would personally pick this up, but given that I've recently purchased quite a few makeup items, I'm going to pass on it. But it is something that catches my eye. And I do prefer this packaging to the previous one. It just looks a lot more sleek. I'm sure this will run out real quick. More sneak peeks for holiday. Dior. They're going to be having a backstage face glow palette and lip maximizers. When it comes to Dior products, I'm all about like their powder products. I love the highlighter that I have. Um, I've seen their blushes and they look amazing, bronzers as well. This palette looks absolutely beautiful and it looks like there's two different options, like a lighter and a deeper option, but man, people have spoken about these types of palettes forever and Dior is not a brand that I go to all the time when it comes to makeup. I'm not always looking forward to their releases, but when these palettes come out, I like gawk at people who buy them because they're gorgeous and this looks no different. I just won't be getting it though. Or will I? No, no, I won't be, get <laughs> I won't be getting it. Rare Beauty, which is by Selena Gomez. I'm not gonna speak to like a specific product, but I did see um, a few reviews, but can you please just let me know if it's if it's happened to you where when this was released or PRs were given out, it was everywhere on your feed like I remember a specific day when it was just rare beauty rare beauty rare beauty rare beauty like man 
everyone got their PR at the same exact time. From what I saw, many people were just kind of like okay about it or like spoke good about it. I haven't found anyone that has hated the products um, like entirely. But for me, I think the most interesting product, the one I would want to try, those liquid highlighters. When I saw people put them on, it looked so like wet, but like that glassy wet as opposed to like glowy powder wet. Oh, and the liquid blush. It looks so pigmented. It's not that sheer formula that a lot of creams come in. Those two I would try. Milk Makeup is coming out with a Hydro Grip Setting and Refresh Spray. You're going to have the option of $18 or $36. And this spray forms a weightless invisible layer to grip and set makeup for up to 12 hours. I would not get the spray, but I will say that I've been trying out the Hydro Grip Primer. I got a mini size of it and I have been loving it. Strangely enough, I was very skeptical about whether or not I would like it, but I'm actually loving it. And I'm considering buying a full size because it's the one that I want to pick up all the time. Maybe one day I would try the spray out, but for right now, I'm so good with the, the original primer. Next up, we have Makeup Revolution doing a collaboration with the TV show Friends. This is going to be interesting. There are, I haven't seen any pictures of it yet, but I think that people would buy it purely based on like the nostalgia of it. Having a history of loving the show as opposed to like the makeup items. I don't know how you would go about doing a friend's collaboration and turning it into makeup products. Are they just going to go based off like the, the logo or I mean how else would you go about this kind of collaboration? I'm interested to see what the products would look like but it, for me, it just like, how, what are you going to do with the makeup? You know what I mean? I don't know. For me, the show is not something you correlate with makeup. I just, it doesn't make sense to me. But I am interested to see what this will end up looking like. ColourPop is coming out. Not, technically not ColourPop. It's the Soul Body <laughs> Face and Body Bronzing Balm. $15 each. And they have various shades. I'm kind of tempted to buy this, kind of, but I have two products already. Granted, I'm pretty much like on my way with the Fenty Matchstick, but I still have a backup and I still have my Lancome Foundation Stick. So I'm pretty good with cream, contour, or bronzing products, but I'm not gonna lie, I, I really do wanna try it. It just, I'm so like into bronzing and blush and highlighting that process gets me so when I see makeup items that are kind of in that category my heart is like yes I, I want it but my mind is reminding me that no I don't need it I don't need anything but you know but if I were to pick it up I would get the shade medium dark tower 28 beauty I really really want to try these lip glosses but I have enough for now so on my next round of purchases you bet your bottom dollar not purchases of lip gloss purchases bet your bottom dollar that i'm going to get me one of these shiny what is it called shine on milky lip jellies i want to try it so bad i really do i don't know why i didn't pick one up when i bought from sephora i'm pretty sure it was in my car and then took it out because i was really trying to be good with that purchase but Next round, Tower 28. And I would pick up all of these new shades. Oat, Coconut, Cashew, and Almond. And they're $14 each. That is, I for me, that's like a fair lip gloss price. It's actually pretty good. I know you can find a lot of great options at the drugstore. But for a Sephora brand, that's a really good price. And I've heard amazing things about this lip gloss. I'm so tempted to buy it. I want all of them. I'm just saying. All right, and lastly, Kylie Jenner, her Sailor collection, I guess it was for the summer, and so like the theme kind of makes sense, kind of that 4th of July vibe. And so the palette has, you know, the shimmers and the mattes, and it definitely gives off that kind of like 
all American vibe. You have the blue, you have the red, and then you have your neutral shades, the shimmers. But it's not a palette that I'm interested in for me. I think if the blue wasn't there and maybe incorporated a purple instead, I would have been like, ooh, that's pretty. But anytime like I see blue against a lot of neutrals, I don't like it. I'm not into like the pop of blue. Remember when that was a trend? Like the pop of blue. I didn't I didn't like palettes like that. So that might be why I don't like this. But I will say the packaging, I think it's really cool. It's not packaging that I would want like to display in my collection, but visually it looks really good. It kind of gives off like a tattoo vibe, but just the collection as a whole, it does not interest me. Yep. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it, and I guess I will see you in another two weeks. I think this is coming out three weeks since my last one. I kind of forgot about it. But here we are, and I'm glad that I waited because it doesn't seem like there was as many releases as the previous week, so giving it time to like build up was a good idea, unintentionally though. This makeup look should already be posted on Instagram. Check the description box down below. It should be the first link there, and just be on the lookout for this outfit. And then check out the caption for a full list of products. Till the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye guys. I went outside to take thumbnail photos before filming this video and it felt like death outside. Ugh, the weather's just disgusting sometimes, you know?